All right, Carly, you know that payphone that's still outside the cash and grab? Yeah. All right, I want you to get on your bike, go to the payphone, and call the police. Tell them that you saw a little boy walking down South Court Avenue at 2.45, okay? Well, why should I? You want to be in a children's home until you're 18? Grandpa Monin has a climbing wall. Carl? I don't have a bike. Wire cutter's in the junk drawer. <laughs> Steve, Fiona, you guys have to get Deb to take that kid back. I don't know that I can make that happen. Fiona, you have to or else we're all fucked. Okay, why do I have to do it? Because we've already told the police we didn't know anything about it. I'm not a good liar. You can do this. I'm not. You always say so. All right, hey, you know what, Debs? It's been hours, and Casey's parents are probably really worried about him. Remember that pie you wanted to make? Let's do that tonight. What do I have to do? I saw a little boy walking down Southport Avenue at, like, 245. 245? Yeah, 245. Asshole. Got a sighting. The kid saw the boy walking down Southport. I was walking up Southport Avenue. When I saw little Casey. No, you didn't know his name. Oh, a little boy. Yeah. All alone. All alone and crying. I asked her where her mom was. Not her. Oh, um, I asked him where his mom was, and she didn't know. He seemed upset, so I gave him some chocolate. Good, Debs. You're doing great. All right, Veronica, I want you to go to the cleaners, ask Mrs. Bergdahl to use the phone in the back. The woman's a cold bitch. I got some for that, okay? Don't worry about it. Hey, Mrs. B. Can I use your phone really quick? I got some green bud for your glaucoma. Mm. I saw a little boy with a Superman suit walking down Grand Avenue. And what time was that? About 15 minutes ago. And I thought maybe this is the little boy everyone's been talking about. I'm sorry, a uh, Spider-Man suit? I didn't say Spider-Man, I said Superman. He had a cape and he was walking with a little girl. And you described it. So I went to the phone outside Connie's Pizza to call the police. But I didn't use the phone because it was broken. And did you try to call anyone else? Yes, I did. Oh, right. I was standing on the street, and I asked people who were passing if I could use their phone. I said it was an emergency, but no one listened. I don't know if it was because I was young or 